Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Look at our home view. Isn't this beautiful? We're waiting for the sun to come up here. But what we see, though, is definitely a beautiful sunrise that is taking place. And we're going to get to our next big thing here in just a minute. But that is a little preview for you, a little tease that we're going to see our temperatures get a lot colder as we head into the upcoming weekend. So let's look, though, outside at temps this morning. Cold enough for some frost out there in some areas. 36 degrees Mount Sterling, 38 in Frankfurt. Uh, a lot of upper 30s to low 40s is where many of us are. Now, Lexington had dipped to upper 30s, but with the clouds moving back in, it did bump back up to 44. That's, that's probably those clouds are not enough to really make that much of a difference, to be honest. But again, uh, sometimes that thermometer runs a little warm. Here's our rainfall update again. We're showing it to you daily because our deficit just continues to grow, and that's not, it is not good news. I was talking to one of my friends, farmer in Western Kentucky, and he's like, we're having to water the cattle a lot, okay, because streams and creeks are starting ponds and stuff are really, really low, if not drying up in some areas. For the year, five inches about in Lexington, that's not everywhere, but in Lexington, we're nearing five inches for the year in the deficit, okay? That put us last week in a moderate drought for Lexington points westward and then an abnormally dry status in a lot of other areas. We'll get an update on that tomorrow morning and I wouldn't be shocked if it does not, we don't see that moderate drought expand. There are the clouds moving in. They were making for a nice sunrise as we showed you a moment ago in our home view. High pressure, though, slips further east. This warm front lifts in here as we go through the day. Uh, ahead of that warm front, not only are we increasing the clouds, we'll bring a small chance this afternoon and into the evening for maybe a couple of sprinkles. Nothing widespread, okay? Most of us are dry. Tomorrow, warm fronts north, and that means it's all about the warm-up. And... The thicker clouds ahead of that warm front are also north. So we return to mostly sunny conditions for Thursday. Friday, though, we start increasing the clouds ahead of this cold front. And that cold front means business, too. We're in the lower 70s to upper 60s for afternoon highs, partly to mostly cloudy with those sprinkles possible. In the next seven days, watch the temperatures get warmer. That's our next big thing. Warmer tomorrow and Friday. That's above average. Then after today, the next big thing will transition to our cold front that comes through Friday night into Saturday, drops temperatures, brings some scattered showers, and then behind it, ooh, we have a cutoff low that spins in the Ohio Valley, keeps clouds and periodic chances for some showers or drizzle. Krista, only in the 50s for high Sunday through Tuesday.